this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a handoff auto or manual auto mode on an ATV320 drive using SoMove software. Now in SoMove, the first thing that you want to do is go into the parameters tab and hide, make sure the full menu is highlighted. Under full, you want to go down into command menu. Now on the keypad itself of the VFD, it will show this as a configuration menu first, which will then require to go to full. And then you have the CTL menu listed there, which is the same thing as command. Under command menu, there's a couple of settings you will have to program. A couple of things I want to mention here is the FR1 parameter is your first reference frequency channel. You have the CHCF, which is a channel mode configuration. CD1 and CD2 are your command channels for uh, channels 1 and 2, uh, where, while FR1 and FR2 are your reference channels for 1 and 2. And the last thing is the RFC setting, which is the switching assignment that allows you to go from channel 1 to 2. The one thing that I want to mention here off the bat is anytime you have separate channels where you have in one channel having uh, commands through terminals and let's say you want to use your keypad for speed or some other ways of running your VFD via speed reference that is not including in terminals mode, you want to make sure that your command channel mode is set to separate mode. Now we'll give you a warning regarding an IO, IO assignment here. That's due to where if you're an IO profile and if you go back to separate or not separate mode, you will actually do a performance uh, factor reset. So be aware of that. But this only applies to if um, if you need to change your assignments to be separate in terms of the keypad, network or terminals if they're going to be mixed and matched here. So with it being on separate mode, now we can program our first and second channels for hand and auto. The first thing that you want to make sure is the corresponding digital input that you're using to switch between the two will be programmed under RFC. So we can assume, just for the sake of an example here, that this will be DI3. Okay. That means that whenever input 3 is turned off to on, the drive will be looking at from the first channels to the second channels. Same thing with the commands. That's how the handoff auto switch or any kind of switching works. It just changes channels from one to two and vice versa depending on the input being active or not. So let's assume that for your when the input three is low, it's in hand mode and in hand mode you want to run using a speed potentiometer on analog input one. So you have that program to AI1 here. In hand mode, you still want to run using terminal mode. That's still the case here. And we have input three as a means of going back and forth between two channels between hand and auto. Now your second channel is where you want to um, you run the drive using a, let's say four to 20 milliamp on AI3. That's where you can program your second channel to AI3 but we're still going to use the same terminals controls even though you're in auto mode. So in that regard, we don't need to program the command switching because our way of commanding it to run and stop is still the same as the first channel, which is terminals. If ever you need to change this where you have different ways of starting and stopping a VFT in hand or auto, that's where you can utilize the same switching functionality as your RFC setting to the CCS and then program your channels according to how they need to be programmed. But this basically allows us to program a handoff auto switching type functionality using the on the 320 drive using the SoMove software.